Here we have a vintage Gateway Solo 9300. Has Windows 98 SE, second edition. Speakers, buttons, lock on lock, media buttons, play, pause, rewind, stop, fast forward. On the side here, got your jacks for headphones, microphone, or or a headset for both speaker and mic for both microphone and headphones. Modem for dial up. Doesn't have Ethernet connections. USB PCI slot. In the back, got your PS2 connection for an external mouse or keyboard. Docking station dock. Power supply. Over here. Got your three and a half inch floppy. Got your DVD ROM drive. Doesn't look like it'll record the CDs. It says DVD ROM. 15 inch screen. Got your lock button. Slide it to unlock it. Pentium 3. Designed for Microsoft Windows 98. There's all the buttons. Volume over here. Mute, get the hard drive light, your CD light, floppy light, caps lock, num lock, scroll lock, email, internet, help, pi like P2P sharing, it's your power button, screen, that's your microphone for talking into, button, button, keypad so let's power this thing up see if it works okay we got a light there so let's power this thing up system CMOS check some bad so it's probably got one of those rechargeable batteries Okay, it's up. So it's running AC power. Battery doesn't hold a charge, so it says 0%. That's the clock. Let's see if I can change it. Okay, we're in the clock menu. Change it to February 2020. Today's the 8th, Saturday, 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Probably been applied. Hit OK. Now, chances are, wife, there's no Wi-Fi adapter on here, and I got one, but the problem is, you know, they're all wireless B, and most things these days are wireless G. So, chances are, I'm not going to be able to get online. I'm going to have to get an Ethernet to USB type, or, or Ethernet to serial, or something like that, and see if I can get online that way, but we're going to try it anyway. I might be hooked up to the Internet now. Even though this is for wireless B, and it's wireless G, although it's going through an extender... It's a W64 bit WEP. When well, I think like man, I'm not going to go through too much, but like automatic and stuff like that. Don't want to go through too much security. Let's see if by any chance anything actually works. I mean, everything's going to be so outdated. I don't think anything's going to let me get online. MSN. You'll need to install a modem. No. Not dealing with you. Let's try Internet Explorer. They all want this stupid modem crap. So that's the way to get past this because it wants to connect the internet via e via the dial-up. It's not recognizing this, even though the adapter here. It's showing internet, and I installed the software that came with it. And then I had to dig out my Windows 98 disk to install some drivers that were missing from this. And then it did some trickery, but I managed to get the, the icon to connect to my internet. I want to fiddle around with this off screen a little bit, see if I can figure something out here. I'll have to see if I can install some kind of internet explorer. 
I tried both Outlook, connected to the internet, but they keep telling me, welcome to MSN Online, you have to install a modem. Well, I don't have dial-up. Who uses, you know, I have a cable modem. It's not going to, I don't think it's going to support dial-up. Or I have to run a damn phone wire from one end of the trailer to the other. Because all these phones are wireless. Now you got the main phone connected to the cable modem, and that broadcasts the signal to these handsets. I don't have individual phone lines. I have a phone jack in the house, but it's ripped out. Anyway, security, key length, 40 to 60 bit, WEP, passphrase, that's the password to enter for the Wi-Fi. I first started to go manual entry, but that didn't work. So I, I create passphrase, as I enter the password, it filled in all the keys here. And I was able to connect. Profile. So it's connected to the, that's the same, the net gear here is saying connected to the internet. Now it's made for Windows 98 and older. Because you had to install the disk first, and then I had to install a DLL file from the Windows 98 disk, because it wanted some more information that wasn't included on this. So, but I'm trying to get online and it's asking me for a modem. So it's not, the computer's not recognizing this, or at least not yet. Probably need some more trickery or it may, this may just be it. May have no choice but to go Ethernet, but I'm going to figure something out here. Well, we got some other issues too, other than it doesn't want to find the internet. I got no sound. It's playing a CD. I get no sound either via the onboard speakers or using a patch cable into my stereo speakers for the main computer. It's not outputting sound at all either. But it's playing. I tried two different audio CDs and I'm not getting sound. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out the settings in here. But I don't know. Why am I not getting sound? I go into sound properties, I can get all the different sound samples here. You notice the preview here, but you notice the stop and play buttons are grayed out. So I can't even test it. So I don't know if this guy put Windows 98 on here and didn't do it correctly. Which may explain why I had to install an additional file from the 98 disk in order to run the Wi-Fi adapter on the USB. Something's not installed right or something's corrupted. Because I'm not getting audio either. It's a CD player right here. It shows how long the track is. Track 2 is 2 minutes and 35 seconds. The total album is only 20 minutes. It recognizes everything and knows everything. Let's try to see. Can I go to in here? Volume control is not opening up. Yeah, volume control isn't popping up either. So apparently, this thing's got issues. Something is not installed right, because I get no sound, and the sound thing won't pop up. That's probably why it refuses to find the internet via the USB adapter. Because here it shows it's connected. I'll connect on this. Shows everything here. So, I don't know. I do not know. I may have to try reinstalling Windows 98 completely. Or I may have to do a different operating system. I just don't know at this point. Well, let's see if I'll put a DVD in. Just out of curiosity, will a DVD play? Probably not. Alright, now I won't recognize the DVD. Now, the thing says there, it says CD-ROM disc. But on the side here, it says DVD-ROM. So it should play a DVD. But it's not. So I'll click on it. D is not accessible. This device is not ready. So it's not wanting to register that. I'll try one more time. I'll open this. This is a regular DVD, right? Not Blu ray. Yeah, it says DVD. Try again.
I think it's trying. Right, same thing. Right. Can't read DVDs, apparently. Penny is registering as a CD-ROM, even though it says DVD. So either there's a CD-ROM drive in here, and you just put a DVD door on here, or something. So this thing's got problems. Must not have installed Windows 98 correctly, or something's corrupted here. Might have to do a full, fresh install of 98. Might be the only chance of getting this damn thing running. Because it's not output audio either via the speakers or via this. I've hit the mute, unmute button several times. There's nothing to tell me if it's muted or unmuted. Hitting the volume buttons, nothing's working. Won't play, won't play a DVD, and I can't get sound from a CD. Try two different CDs, including one that I burned. Nothing. Can't get it to connect to the internet, and I can't get it to play with audio. Is it when I try to do test sounds, it's all grayed out. And, th and this thing here it says 95, but the thing says 98. So, what is going on here? Is this 95 or is it 98? Someone tells me this is not a genuine. This is not genu a genuine version of 98 SE. And if that's the case, then that explains all these damn problems. This show me is 98. Although BIOS says 98 2000. So, what is it? Is it 95, is it 98, or is it Windows 2000? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna shut it off, and I'll go into BIOS, and I'll show you. Okay, we're in here. And when I do shutdown, it gives me the option, you know, to shut it down, restart. I can also go into MS-DOS MS if I wanted to. Now, disk uh, 12073 megabytes. So it's either 12 gigabytes or 100, it ain't 120 gigabytes, it's probably 12 gigabytes. 160 megabytes of memory. Secondary slave CD-ROM. So that's so that explains why it won't play CDs. Yet the damn door says DVD. So is it a CD or is it a DVD? Probably somebody probably just put a damn DVD door on the CD because that's all they had. Installed OS, Windows 98, Win 2000. So, something's fucked up on here, but what? And it just says CD-ROM. It should so, but like I said, again, here, that does say DVD, right? DVD-ROM. Yeah, it can only play CDs. And I'm not getting audio on that either. Yeah, I only see uh, the one little laser there, so. There's no, not a separate laser for DVDs, apparently. So this isn't, this isn't the original door, then. So it's a CD drive with a DVD door. So, so I gotta figure out what my next steps are gonna be. So that'll end this video for right now. I did order a PCI MA, whatever it's called at the moment, the to Ethernet adapter. Because it only has the modem and no Ethernet, so I'll try and get internet that way via LAN. So I'll come back when I get that and see if I can at least get it to come up online. So that wrap up this part for now. I gotta figure out what to do.